every time they get started, he's like, he's just keying in on what's happening over there. He's as excited to watch it as I am. Hello equestrians and welcome back to another episode of Discover the Horse. My name is Alyssa and I am on a quest to ride every breed. There are hundreds of different horse breeds and each one has their own unique story. So saddle up and join me on a ride to Discover the Horse. This is my first camp draft. Camp drafting is an Australian sport involving a horse and rider working cattle, but we'll learn more on that later on in the video. The Australian Stock Horse Society sent me here to meet up with Brett and Jeff. Jeff is a fifth generation horseman, and now both his kids and grandkids are riding right along with him. He's doing go manpower. He's 14 year old. He's 15 too, black stallion. He's one that we bred ourselves. Him and his brother have taken over to do our stud proud. He's done very well with hacking and lead, the working challenges, time trials and all that sort of stuff. So he, he got second to his brother in the, the big three-year-old futurity. His progeny are ridden by grandchildren to grandparents. He's won three open drafts. He's finaled at Warwick four times. He's beautiful to ride, lovely nature. He's got a lovely balanced head, neck, Sloping shoulder, which is comfortable to ride. Good depth of hip. Yeah, they're, they're just some features that I really enjoy about him. He's very intuitive to things going wrong and, and that because Sometimes the cow and the horse have to, like the horse is trained to move with the cow. Sometimes I'm a little slower. So <laughs> he waits to pick me up and then go where he needs to go. <laughs> and I'm very, very thankful of that. The Australian Stock Horse Society was established in 1971. Today, the society is the largest horse breed association in Australia and Australian stock horses can be found in several other countries around the world. I can already feel he's waiting for the little cues. He's so in tune. The big help you'll find is, is that one ear will be coming back to you. Yeah. That's the big thing that I really appreciate with the horse and this breed in particular because they're mindful of the job that they need to do and what they think they do, but they, the, the training and the breed allows them to um, look after the person on top and be mindful of what you're going to ask them to do. It's such an interesting breed because you had the horses that were kind of of various types that were brought into Australia and then over the generations you built your ideal horse. Exactly. So, you know, it is like a Heinz variety initially but people found it out a necessity to, to structure it more so that we could get the ideal horse it was developed to be a horse for every need, for the whole family. And that's the benefit of these stock horses because we don't need one just to be, say, in a lead. You can go and fancy him up and do a lead class. You can then go up and you can do hacking, dressage, camp drafting and that. And that's really exciting for me because I haven't got the money or the facilities that have six horses to do what I want. And on the one day, we could have four horses here and the whole a lot of us could ride them um, in different events. You know, this horse is 14, he's still very competitive and still wanting to do his best work and willing to, you know, do whatever he can to get the job done. My son rides him and my daughter yeah. and daughter-in-law, but not very many other people ride him. And it's just nice to see that he's still thinking about looking after you. Oh yeah, totally is. Good boy. I'm a fan. I wouldn't like to think that I was the only silly one. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir. It, it's very important because some people never find that and they never get truly content. Okay, I but I can honestly say that I'm doing what I want to do with what I'm doing. 
um, and I'm fortunate that I get a living out of, out of it as well. So I'm one of the real fortunate ones. Horses are such amazing animals and it doesn't matter how many breeds I meet or how many stories I hear of people that love horses. I'm just so inspired by all of them and to hear about Jeff and the way that his family just comes here to these events and gets to spend quality time together, building the horses, building themselves. What a cool way to live. Back at the arena, Brett handed me his horse, Rolex, and it's time to watch this unique Australian sport. Every time they get started, he's like, he's just keying in on what's happening over there. He's as excited to watch it as I am. So, what exactly is camp drafting? So we start off with six to eight in the camp, sometimes five to seven. But you've got a group of cows in there and you decide to pick one out. And then you need to show the judge by two or three blocks up the front with, by itself to that you can control that cow and get it to turn away from you, similar to what cutting is. But you've got the, just the one horse and the one rider and then two gate people on the front gate that when you call, they open the gates up. So from that thing, you've usually got 40 seconds to complete two circles and a third third part of a circle through a gate. Okay. The important part of the camp drafting is to realise that the circles outside start with the camp. Okay. For the first circle. So then it's a right hand circle and you need to rate the speed of what the cow's doing and the quicker and more control that you have over the cow outside the more points that you get. So in the camp there's 26 and then outside there's 70 points is the maximum, and then four, which is two points for the first peg, one for the second, and then one for the gate. And they believe that by the time that you get to the gate, you should have that cow under control, so you can put it just about on wherever you want to. Wow. Horses are way too much fun. Thank you all so much for riding along with me and discovering this iconic Australian breed. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all at the next breed.